And I also just wanted to mention, so this video will go up on Monday this week. So this week I'm getting my hair done on Thursday. Uh, and I don't know if I should tell you or should I tell you? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm getting balayage. So next video I will most likely have balayage hair. So for primer, the first thing I'm using is this Fifth Avenue Face Primer. And this is what you can get from like Kmart and stuff. And it's actually really good. It's really moisturizing. So I'm just, just going to take that much. I'm just going to rub this into my face. So this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is a really good dupe for the pore professional. And I'm just going to take a little bit. Whoa, that was a lot. So I'm just going to take that much and I'm just going to apply that sort of around my nose and anywhere I feel like I have lots of pores. Here, I have a little bit of breakout at the moment. Back. So I've been trying out this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation and this is just a mattifying infallible foundation. So this is apparently is Texture is medium, coverage is high. I just realized that I wanted to do my eyes first. No. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that I do my eyes first because you don't want any fallout on your foundation. And I completely forgot and jumped straight into the foundation. Knowing me. Right, the first thing I'm going to be doing is priming my eyelids and I'm just going to use concealer this is just going to make sure that it cancel out any discoloration on your lid and it also makes you makes your eyeshadow stay on for much longer and I'm just going to take this Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder this is in the shade Peachy Glow and just set my eyelids and this is just going to make sure that the eyeshadow blends really easily then I'm going to take some sticky tape so for the smoky eye the number one tip is you always have to have a transition color okay a lot of people just go in straight with black and it just looks really not blended and really chunky and just look, doesn't look very good I just want to make a transition color and this transition color is always going to be sort of like a neutral color before you put the black on. So for this smoky eye you only need two colours. So today I'm going to use the new Cube by the Balm palette and so you need two colours and I'm just going to use the black which is serious and the sultry. Firstly I'm taking the sultry shade and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and start applying that to the crease. So as you can see, it sort of made a really nice gradient to my skin. You're just going to keep applying that until you have a really nice gradient transition. So this is optional, so you can go straight in with just the black eyeshadow and skip this step. But to make it really black, I'm just going to take this Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Pot Liner. And this is in the shade Blackest Black. And I'm just going to take that and apply that to my lid and this is just going to create a really nice base for the black eyeshadow. So as you can see it looks a little bit crazy right now. <laughs> but we'll blend it out in a second. That shade Serious in the Balm palette. And yeah, so I'm just going to take that on a flat brush. So you don't want to go too high up at the moment because when we blend it out, it will go a lot higher. Now I'm taking this brush right here and I'm just going to start blending. Just If you find it a little bit hard to blend, then take the sultry brown shade again and just sort of start blending over the top of the black. So 
you just want to always blend, blend, blend. And then I'm just taking chocolate cookie. And I did say that you only need two shades, but I thought if you're going to choose the shade, definitely choose a little bit warmer shade because I find if you choose a cool one, it's a little bit, um, a little bit too cool. Now I'm taking a little bit more of a shimmer shade. I'm just going to take a little bit of standoffish. So I'm just going to take this tape off. And as you can see, it creates a really crisp line. So once you've cleaned up all the inner corner and everything like now we can do foundation. So as I was saying with the new foundation that I'm trying out, I'm just going to... As I was saying, I'm just going to blend that out with a Chi Chi sponge. And I'm actually being loving the foundation. Blend it down the neck because I got a total neck on. So let's just hope it matches very well. So as you can see, it's very full coverage. And then of course I'm taking my Maybelline concealer. I'm just going to mix it a little bit with the um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So I'm going for like a super highlighted look apparently today. Now I'm taking the Aceon Tour Astralis Contour Kit and I'm going to take the banana shade and just set underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to set the rest of my face with this Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder by Astralis in the shade, and this is in the shade Darkest Brown. And then I'm going to contour with the Hula by Benefit Bronzer, and I've been using this like every single day. Then I'm just going to jump back into the eyes and I'm going to take that Sultry shade, and then a tiny bit of the black, I'm just going to start building up the intensity for my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take this metallic eyeshadow in Guns N' Roses and this is by Astralis. I love Astralis as you can tell. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that and place that in my inner corner. I'm taking this Chi Chi blush and this is the Mosaic blush in Pink Rose and this is just like a really sort of it's got like the tiniest bit of shimmer into it. So I'm just going to apply that to my, just above my contour. And this is just going to add a little bit of color to the cheeks. So you want to start just up here. So you want to start here and work your way down. And you just want to blend it out really nicely. Okay, now for my favorite part ever. I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus Prep and Primer Spray and my highlighting brush which is the e.l.f. blush brush I'm pretty sure and it's perfect for highlighting because it's super soft and like the perfect sort of size. I'm going to spray the brush and okay moment of silence for how much how intense this highlight is okay I'm going to use a little bit ready What? Look how intense that is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just going to apply a little bit on my nose. Okay, now I'm going to quickly bake just underneath my contour. And I'm going to use the Face of Australia translucent powder. And bake underneath under my eye. So I'm just taking a little bit of this pomade.
Okay, now I'm going to wipe my bake off because I don't want it to stay for too long. So now it comes to lashes and I've got the perfect lashes for this look. They're like double stacked lashes. I don't think I'm going to cut these because I'm too scared to cut them. These lashes are the Dramatic 43 Andrea? 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 I don't know how to say it. A little bit darker in the waterline. I'm going to take that Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and a small brush. And I'm just going to apply that to my waterline. Then I'm going to take that pencil brush again and just smudge that out. I don't know what they call The Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I'm going to use the Kylie Lip Kit in Candy K. And I'm not going to worry about lining my lips because I don't know why. I need to sharpen my pencil, but I'm too scared to wreck it, so yeah. Lipstick. And I'm just going to use, I usually just use this for ombre, as you can see. So I'm just going to tap it in the middle. And I'm going to apply some of this Bow Matte Lip Cream over the top. Because I want it a little bit more of a nude colour. 